Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore as yet again. I have my fan running that is now off. Now let's pop up our map and see where we actually want to go. Alright, let's head this way. Bring some stuff on the way. Your inventory is oh, full. that inventory. I think I actually pick, picked up a loot fisk cube. I did. That would be useful. So, Gems either. All right, let's move on. Disarm that one as well. Oh god, oh, okay. Yeah, if the Dungeons of Dreamer kind of really needs a rest until healed, or wait until healed kind of command. Force is indeed running out. Ninja Vanish, go. I have an unfriendly AI over there. Eat some cheese, a dig a leg. Hide from the other. Oh, oh they both octas are back. Kill that one at least. I got food. Let's get some booze going so I can cast a spell. Two rounds before I can ninja vanish one more time. Look, pick a lock up. I'm going to let me out. Well, okay, no, I did lock up the bottom one. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, time for the sandwich. Unfortunately, this has turned into a, a bit of an emergency. Vanish. Got enough for a wormling. Summon him. He should take care of the Octo. Critical hit. And the other Octo as well, apparently. Not quite as uh, powerful as he was earlier on, but he still does a decent chunk of damage and has a good amount of health himself, so. I'll have his usage uses still. Steak. Alright, let's head down through this door. Ooh, a thrusty. saying that, I'm really gonna regret that one of these times and open the door, like be fighting something, trying to run away and find a monster zoo behind a door or something. I don't really want to be 
eating non-stop like I kind of have been. But I'm running into a lot of enemies. Which is a little bit unusual, but... Not, not too out of the ordinary, I guess. I'm using a poncho with no name. That actually is worth quite a bit. I think it's worth like 7,000 or so. I have a blank scroll. Looks like it might be a secret passage. Critical hit. Critical hit. Or maybe not a secret passage exactly, but Your help is low. All right, Ninja Vanish. For me. I'll beat yet another dig a leg. Sheesh. I just have to go with the two dig a legs. Ooh, we get a couple things. Interdimensional axe. Start using more mushrooms, they're kind of building up a little bit. I'm gonna run into some enemies and try one out. And if I'm running into an enemy, then I'm not gonna just basically one shot. Like now, let's try Mudwen. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's not good. Minus five he max health and two health a turn. Thirty turns, or perhaps not. Okay, what does that do? This one is tricky. This number is your health regeneration bonus. It's subtracted from the base health regeneration rate to determine the number of steps it takes for you to regenerate one point of health. A higher number is better, okay. So it's taking me an extra two turns to regenerate health right now. Yeah, it was nine a second ago, now it's seven. Okay. Alright, so I'm actually gonna start keeping track of these. Otherwise, I will end up at some point eating another mud one. So split it up, columns. Bad mud one. Alright. Mysterious glass square. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we know what it is. So, yeah. Apparently Dave does not. Try fairy Wadger. Fungal healing. Okay, that's so a good fairy Wadger. Healing. Okay. If I hadn't accidentally gotten rid of my uh, you need more man. alchemy thing, I could probably make those into some sort of better potions. But you need more mana. Can I see recipes here? I don't think so. Oh, wait, I do have an ingot press that I will never use, but it's an alchemy kit. Still. Now we're gonna mix it with nightcap. Yep. Can't make a whole lot of it right now. 
right now, apparently. You need more mana. Drink more booze. Something going on up there. Gonna get rid of this. Actually, it looks like it'll sell for a lot. That, not so much. Uh, food, I don't want to get rid of. Cracked orbs, junk. Uh, it'll sell for a lot also. Crude mace will not sell for much. But apparently, I can keep my loot fisk inside of the. F oh, god damn it. Keep it in there as long as I don't add more to it. That may have undesirable effects. That'll make gold. I know what that does. Okay. Oh, the trap. Critical hit. Nope. Yeah, let's go ahead. Ninja vanish. Blast him from not much further away. Alright. At this point, I really need to heal up. Healed up a little bit, and we're, we're just kind of walked in a circle. I don't know why we were able to see that opening before I actually opened the door. It's kind of odd. Let's see, does this one give us any stats that the other doesn't? Sneakiness and enemy dodge reduction. Some more critical chance, I think. Yeah, Alright, so that one is in fact better. Alright, so this will actually just about be it. Let's poke down to the next level. Thermoblobby. And a Thawmite Mist. Alright, I'm gonna ninja vanish right away. Deal with this trap. Get the hell out of there. I'm gonna poke Your down. Oh boy. Kinda see the area. I would have preferred seeing the area without dying, but. You can't have everything. Huh. I'm gonna go with on a limb and say we don't wanna go over there. Let's see if we can figure out where we're going to go next. Uh, apparently I walked over a trap. Oh, well, looks like this bottom right corner of the map is cleared out. For the most part. Just want to check that one little black spot there. Okay, that is a door. Alright, so that's where we're going to be going next time. Um, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Dungeons & Dreadmore. Have a nice day. As I'm leaving the game with the recording running. Have a nice day again.